I'm Dr. K. S. Njoti, Assistant Professor at Department of Genetics and Biotechnology, Women's College, Koti. We've been doing a series on indoor plants, more specifically plants that give more oxygen and act as air purifiers. The next plant in the series we're going to discuss today is snake plant. Snake plant, its botanical name is Dracaena fasciata and it belongs to the family of Asparagaceae. Actually, this is a plant native to Africa, but it grows very comfortably in any drought condition. That makes snake plant the toughest plant to grow in indoors. The beauty of this plant is that it doesn't have any stems. All that it has is thick foliage, just the leaves which grow in bunches. So that gives a lot of architectural beauty to your rooms when you place snake plant in a pot. Snake plant can sustain in drought conditions. So you can just water this plant once in a week or 10 days. So the Achilles heel for this plant is over watering. The plant will instantly uh, wilt and the leaves will change color if you over water the plant. So just water it once in a week or 10 days that too when your soil is completely dry for more than one or two centimeters in the pot. This cannot sustain bright or direct sunlight. So you can grow this comfortably in the dark corners of the house or in windows where there is indirect sunlight. Any kind of a pot material is okay for snake plant. You can grow it in plastic pots, clay pots uh, or you know large or small any size of the pot is okay because the more space you give for this plant the more number of leaves it will start producing. And how can you propagate snake plant? You can just take a leaf cutting and put it in the soil, it will start growing. The wonderful thing about this is like a money plant, a snake plant can also propagate in water. So if you take a leaf cutting and put it in water, it will slowly start developing roots and grow. There are many varieties of snake plants that are available to us in our local nurseries even in India. The most popular varieties, one that you commonly see on any office table is called as a bird's nest snake plant. This is a very small dwarf variety, its leaves are very small and it can only grow up to a, about 6 inches taller, not more than that. So it actually gives a kind of a nesty appearance, that's why the name bird's nest snake plant. The other popular variety is a cylinder snake plant which has a very long needle like leaves, completely green in color. The one variety that you are, that you see commonly in households is called as Laurentia. It has this thick green leaves with yellow margins that add a lot of beauty. The only hitch with this Laurentia variety is it cannot be grown as a leaf cutting. You necessarily have to take the plant along with its roots and pot it. Otherwise, the leaves will grow green in color instead of developing this yellow margins. Other popular variety that we find in our households is a variegated snake plant which means its leaves has different shades of green. The leaves can grow very long or sometimes they can just retain up to 3 to 4 inches but because of their variegated nature they give a lot of beauty to wherever you keep it. So the take home message is when you want to grow a snake plant is it's a very tough plant, very very low maintenance, very good air purifier because it can remove a lot of allergens that are airborne. Snake plant makes a very right choice as a bedroom plant because this particular plant has the ability to remove allergens that are airborne. So anybody who has respiratory problems or breathing difficulties because of allergens in the air, this plant is for you to grow and put it right next to your bed or the place where you sleep because this can actually remove the airborne pollutant. Lastly, important things that you must remember if you wish to grow a snake plant in your indoors, this is a very low maintenance plant, drought resistant plant so takes very little water, it needs loose pot mix with more peat based soil, it need not be put in direct sunlight, an indirect sunlight or a bright light is enough to grow a snake plant and the lifespan of a snake plant is almost 7 to 8 years. So the repotting can also be done only after 3 to 4 years when you feel that your pot is overcrowded with the leaves. You can just remove some of them and repot them in another pot and make them look as beautiful as the plant that is already growing. Hope that all of you will attempt growing this snake plant in your indoors. Have a clean and pure air and an oxygen rich rooms 
in your households. Please leave any comments or suggestions in the comments box below. Thank you.